guys, it's Ambrosia again. So, um, I'm doing another video about some more Farmhouse Fresh products. Um, if you saw my first video, I did get the wrong website address. It is farmhousefreshgoods.com. I forgot the goods part in there last time, so make sure you go check that out. Um, so, if you know anything about them, they've got tons of fun masks, like probably more masks than um, any other company really that I've ever tried. And they're so fun, they've got the most fun names, they have um, all different types for different skin issues. Um, I'm just gonna go through some of them today with you guys. I'm not gonna actually be putting them like on my face, but I will read descriptions, I can show you um, what the products look like and all that other stuff. Um, I've got all of the masks except I believe one so the one I do not have is called sand your ground and that's an exfoliating mask um it's like a red clay mask something like that I don't have that one yet but I've got like every other one so I can help you with trying to figure out what kind of mask is right for you and what kind of skin issues you're looking to address all right so um, I'm going to start off with their newest mask that just came out. Um, I just got this last week. This one is called Mighty Brighty and it is a vitamin C and chamomile brightening mask. Um, it is 99% natural and of course it has, let's see, it's radiance booster, revitalizer, tightening refresher. It just cannot disco. <laughs> I like how they put those little sayings on the bottom. They're cute. But okay, so this comes in a, um, let's see, I think this is like a, it's like a four ounce glass jar. Um, and when you take this one off, you can see it's kind of like a peach color, but you can see the bits of chamomile in there. And when you put it on your face and it dries, you will get these little um, hard particles that dried onto the skin. Um, but I just use warm water to wash it off and it's fine, but okay. So if you've never tried a Farmhouse Fresh mask before, um, you should know that most of them are active masks, which means they're going to oxygenate, they're going to bring rosy color to your cheeks, they're going to flush a little bit, um, and that's just the ingredients doing their job, and it's just getting your circulation going, renewing new um, skin cells, the turnover rate, just so that you have beautiful, fresh, bright skin at the end. So this one's Mighty Brighty. Um, again, this is the newest one and I've used this one a few times. You don't need to use a lot in which goes with all of their masks. They're um, very potent and you don't need a lot. So I mean just a thin layer on your entire face is gonna do ya. This jar, I think they say it has about 14 to 16 applications in it. Well, I feel like I can probably get more like 20 out of them. I guess it depends how thick you want to apply your mask. Um, but if you're just doing it, I mean, where you're getting a nice even layer, um, not going too overboard, making it thick, you're gonna get a decent amount of applications out of these masks. All right, so that was the Mighty Brighty. Oh, let's see, smell. Um, it's just kind of like, a, it really doesn't have a strong scent at all. Um, it's kind of just, I don't know, this one almost kind of smells a little Play-Doh-y, but with chamomile, I don't, it's very light, it's not a, um, it's not an unpleasant smell by any means, um, it's just kind of more of a neutral smell, I guess, so that is my spray. Alright, the next one I'm going to show is, this one is called Pajama Paint. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, this is a soothing active yogurt mask. All right, so this one is also 99% natural and it's the honey and oat. It's a skin tightener, super hydrator, redness reducer. Just won't do dishes. Um, so this one, I really like a lot. This one's got quite a good tingle to it. Um, it's, I know on the site it says it's good for people with like rosacea and stuff, but then I've read some reviews that said it was a little much for them. So again, it's an active mask. It's going to bring rosiness to your cheeks. It's going to flush you a little bit. Um, but that redness and stuff, whatever you're experiencing does go away. I mean, 
you rinse it off in 15 minutes it'll be gone um but this one smells delicious this one almost kind of reminds me of like a chai scent kind of get the i don't know so how do you know it just smells it smells really good but it's a creamy mask there's nothing it's just all smooth creamy nothing in there um and i let these sit on my face for i would say about 15 minutes or you know once they dry, they're good to wash off. You can keep them on a little longer. However, just kind of test your skin, make sure it's not having any bad reaction or allergic reaction or anything to it. So, pajama face. Love this one. It's very good. Um, probably one of the ones I use the most. Okay. Next one. This is a fun one. So, I've got a mini version and the full-size version. So, this one is called Sunday Best. And it is a chocolate softening mask enriched with CoQ10. All right, so I haven't even opened this one yet. This one still has the seal on it. But I have the little mini one also. So I'll show you that. It's made with Hershey's chocolate. And it smells exactly like chocolate. Like it's like a chocolate sundae, which I guess is where they get the name Sunday Best from. But um, so you just need a little bit of this too. It's all creamy, very smooth. This one also has a slight tingle to it. Um, this one says it's a skin softener, wrinkle defender, skin revitalizer, but it just won't cook. And this one is 98% natural. Um, so this one I love. It makes your skin super, super soft. Um, I love to use this one a couple times a week. Um, it really does make a difference. You'll feel it immediately afterwards that your skin is smoother. Um, and I like how it's, you know, a wrinkle defender or whatever. So, um, really like this one and it just smells delicious and you're gonna have to restrain from, um, basically just licking it off of your face because you're going to want to. It's so good. But that is that one. All right. Next one. Let's do the pudding appeal. So this is pudding appeal. And this is a tapioca and rice active fruit glycolic mask. So it's like a, um, it's kind of like, it's a peel, but it's a gentler one. Um, I'll do the next mask, which is um, going to be a little bit harsher. It's going to be a more, um, what, it's, a, it's a stronger peel. This one's kind of like the lightweight version of it. So um, this one, it is a texture improver, resurfacer, super renewer. And it won't go to the hips. Um, it's 97% natural. This one has not really a strong scent at all. It's kind of neutral again. Um, none of their products, I feel like I've never smelled one that was bad. Some just are a little more earthy, I guess, scented. And some are a little more fruity. Depends what you like. But all their products are amazing. So regardless of the smell or whatever, I would still say definitely recommend trying them out. All right, so this is what this looks like. You can see a little bit. I don't know if you can see it really in here, but there's little flecks of brown, which I am assuming would be like the rice or the tapioca. I'm not really sure, but it's great. This one gives a great tingle too. Um, and this is kind of like, like it says it's a glycolic, um, glycolic mask. So it's going to have that, um, exfoliating properties without the scrubbing. So if you have sensitive skin and um, scrubbing is just a little too rough, exfoliating on your face, give uh, putting a peel a try and you'll feel a difference and you won't even have to scrub. Again, leave it on 15 minutes or until it's dry, rinse it off and you'll love it. All right, the next mask is the one I was talking about that's, um, so this is called Illumination Fruit and it's a brightening, Fruit Acid Peel Professional Strength Mask. So that's why this one's a little bit harsher, it's a little stronger. Um, if you have sensitive skin, I would say um, skip this one, try the Pudding Appeal, um, see how it reacts, and then if you want to try and give this one a go, give it a shot. It smells amazing. This is a blackberry and papaya, 98% natural, radiance booster, resurfacer, silky smoother. A little sting, a lot of results. So um, this one and some of their products, because they make their own ingredients and their extracts, everything on their own farm, 
Um, depending on the season and what's in season or not, it will depend on the color of certain products. So like this one, for example, some might be a little more vibrant or more purple or whatever. And other ones will be a little less or whatever, but it's just depending on what the fruits that are um, ripened in season. So this looks like this. And this is a very gritty, um, really good exfoliating mask. So what I do is I rub it in, at, um, and you use this on dry skin. Wash your face, get it nice and clean, pat it dry, and then you're going to use this. So you rub in circular motions, and um, it almost, I mean, it feels basically kind of like they put sand in here or something. I mean, I don't think they did, but similar to that feeling of sand. Um, and you're going to have that really nice, thick grittiness. It's course it's going to really resurface the, your skin and smooth it out um and then i let it sit on um until it dries um since this one is stronger um some people might want to take it off a little sooner than normal um i still leave this one on for about 15 20 minutes as long as my skin isn't hurting which my skin has not had any adverse reactions to any other products so that's a plus um but yeah this one's awesome it does really boost the radiance in your skin. Um, it just removes that dead layer of skin cells on the outside and just you'll see bright, fresh, new young cells on the outside. Um, so this one's awesome. Again, that's the Illumination Brew. All right, so now, all right, so here is Peat Perfection. And this is an enriched peat purification mask. So. Um, if you know like what peat moss is, I guess that's the only way I can really assimilate it to. Um, it's, I don't even really know how to explain exactly what peat is, but okay. It is, um, it's very gentle. It, this is 95% natural. Um, it says rapid calming relief, moist afterfeel, balances oil, just can't whistle. This one is a very, very good calming mask. If you have any kind of um, I think people like with rosacea really like this one, um, acne. There is a picture on their site, if you go to this product page, and it shows some really great results of somebody that used this mask for their really bad acne, and it did an amazing job. So I don't, um, I've never struggled with acne, um, so I can't really tell you how that works in that regard, um, but Anytime I'll get like a hormonal um, zit, you know, once in a while or something. And if I feel it coming on, I will immediately grab this and I just dab it on and I just let it sit. I've done it overnight and everything. And it really does help bring inflammation down. And it's even um, like if I just I use this, you know, a few times until I feel like it's gone. And it really does a great job of it. So it's calming if you have any irritation, itchy bumps, um, even like bug bites. My kids... Um, I put this on them before and same with myself, like with mosquito bites, and it really does help calm down the skin irritation and um, just makes it feel better. So it's a good, great calming mask, good for people with acne. Um, okay, let me show you. So this one looks a little different. It doesn't look as appealing as some of the other masks. Um, same with the smell. Not a bad smell. It smells just more like essential oils. Um, and it kind of has like a oily feel to it. Um, it says on here it's a moist after feel, so it doesn't dry your skin out, but it doesn't leave like a big heavy film or anything like that. But it looks like this. It basically just looks kind of like mud or whatever. Um, and just another thin layer, put it on your problem areas, put it on your face, whatever you want to do. Um, washes off easily, um, but this one, I really do like this for any kind of skin irritation. It just calms it right down. If you have redness, anything, this is kind of like, I feel like this is kind of like a rescue mask. So love that one. Okay, so um, the next mask I'm going to do is from their Organics line. Um, they do have a line on their website called Farmhouse Fresh Organics, and they've got um, different products on there also that are all organically made but so for this mask this one is called will do and it is a probiotic milk balancing mask 
calms irritations, balances bacteria, seals in moisture, just can't cook. Um, this one, it is very creamy and smooth. Um, no, like, no exfoliating um, crystals or anything like that in there. Just completely smooth, creamy, white, smells really good, light, fresh scent. Um, so this, again, you put on your face, except this one doesn't dry like a regular mask. This one just kind of, it, you can feel it seeping into your skin, which I kind of like because it's, you can tell it's giving your skin that moisture. Um, and it just, it calms your skin too. So if you're having any kind of redness or irritations, um, probiotics are great. So um, yeah, this is a probiotic mask. It works wonders. I just keep it on for about 20 minutes. This one does not tingle. Um, if I can remember correctly. I just used this one the other day, but, um, I don't think this one tingles, but I'm not 100% sure if it does, it's light, I think. But um, once you have it on for about 15, 20 minutes, just rinse it off and you're good to go. Okay, so now I have um, little miniature sizes of a couple of the ones that I don't have the full size in, but let me, here we go. All right, so I got three more to show you. So here is their Guac Star, and it's the, their avocado mask. Awesome, really good. I think this is one of their best sellers also. Um, it is just a smooth green color. And, you know, I'm really surprised because with the size of these jars, I would think you wouldn't get that many masks or uses out of them, but I've actually gotten so many. It's been, a, been really amazing, actually. And, like, this one, it's not, I would say, yeah barely maybe not even quite half gone yet and i've used this mask quite a few times all right so especially if you're alternating masks um these are going to last you a long time also their masks range in price from i believe 26 dollars to 37 or 38 depending on the mask um but yeah so very reasonably priced all their products i would have to say are reasonably priced um especially for the quality that you're getting they're just amazing all right so the next mask is mighty tidy so i showed you the first one which was mighty brighty and that one was with the vitamin c and chamomile this is mighty tidy and it's with turmeric and banana and it smells just like fresh bananas really good it's um, another like pasty, creamy, tan color, no exfoliating um, beads or anything of that sort in there. But this one, it firms and tightens the skin, um, reduces the look of pores temporarily. Um, this one is a tingly one too. So again, light layer with all the masks. I feel like some people really put on like a heavy layer on their skin and it takes so long to dry. And I feel like you're just wasting the product because your skin is benefiting the same amount whether it's a thin layer or a thick layer so mighty tidy banana and turmeric smells great um another good one and then this is my other favorite one um that i am planning i need to get a big size of but it is called the splendid dirt pumpkin enzyme mask and this one looks just orange if you want to scare your neighbor neighbors during halloween you can just put that on um this one is a tingly one too. They call it like the skin degunker. So it's really good at clearing out your pores. Um, it tightens your pores also temporarily. So this one's just a nice, fresh, refreshing one. This one's got that tingle to it. And uh, thin layer again, 15, 20 minutes, you're good to go. So I really like this one also. You know, all their masks are seriously, like I can't rave enough about them. But again, um, in my previous video, I did mention how all of their products come with a batch number on the bottom. So even these little, um, the little minis, I'll show you here. They've got, they all have a little batch number on the bottom. And if you're familiar with the site or their purpose and their cause, they save and rescue animals. And if you go to their website and you punch in their um, batch number on the bottom of your product, you can actually see what animals you helped rescue that month or during that um during the time they were making that batch so you can see what your money is has gone towards and 
what horses, what goats, whatever, who you're helping, how you've helped. It's really cool. They've got videos online, talks about the rescues. So really cool. Those are the masks though. Um, if you have any questions, comment. Um, there's just so, I just love how they address so many different skin types and skin issues. So there's really a mask for everything, anything that you would really need. So I like to alternate my masks um, someday, you know, depending, am I going to be home? Am I going out? What am I doing? Um, just kind of depends on my mood, but they're, they all smell amazing. Um, it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of like it's good for your face. So love it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, like and subscribe. And I'll get more videos out for you. I'm going to be doing, um, I've got serums that I am going to do a video of. And facial moisturizers and body oils um, that are super popular with them too. Awesome, awesome products. Check them out, farmhousefreshgoods.com. Alright, see you guys.